Okay, I have been waiting months for this field piece VC2G, that's Victor Charlie 2 Golf. I literally bought this from True Tech Tools when they were first released and it just came today. We're talking like six months of waiting for this stupid thing. And what sucks even more is it took me like four hours to find that stupid part because they sent this so the tracking and everything was good to go and I couldn't track this or figure anything out about it without making phone calls and stuff. Which was awesome when they finally sent it because then I couldn't track it or anything else or figure out what the hell was going on. And every month I'd call them and they'd be like, oh, it, by the end of the month, call Field Peace. And then you call Field Peace and they're just like, what do you want? Leave us alone. But, I mean, in principle, I mean, look at this. My hand is eight inches from wrist to the tip. Eight inches. And look how big. Dude, this thing is a monster. Where am I going to put it? I mean, this, this right here is your regular quarter inch Appian valve core removal tool. This is the 5 16 Appian valve core removal tool. Look at this shit, dude. I mean, it, it's like, it doesn't look terrible this way, but it is insanely bigger. I mean, look at that. I already have a hard enough time taking this and putting it in like an LG VRF system. I literally have to drop the entire control panel with all the freaking inverter boards and everything and lay it down onto the ground or the line set in order to get this to fit so I could pull the cores. Like, I didn't expect this thing to stick out like that. Look at this. Like, I mean, in principle, the idea is cool as hell. Super awesome idea. But it's, I mean, look at that. It's literally, if you take this back piece off, it's the same size as that. So this is pretty much, field piece did that. That's literally what the hell they did. But somehow they made this even longer. Like I understand the glass is gonna make it a little bit longer and everything, like that's probably as compact as they could make it. I, I'm not an engineer, I can't tell you why they couldn't somehow figure out an easy, a smaller version of this, but dang, I was not expecting that big. And then like, when they sent this, I was like, oh, maybe this will be like, um, well, what's the NAVAC one? where it just screws on to the end, right? But I'm pretty sure that in order to make this 5 16 because if you look in there, like it's not protruding, so if you, which it's not gonna screw, but if you screwed that onto there, there's no way you're gonna reach that. So that means that you literally have to unscrew this every time you wanna go from quarter to five sixteenths. And then you gotta screw this on. And we all know how, like, let's see if I can get, look, it's just a rubber O-ring. There we go, rubber O-ring. Right? Like, how many ons and offs does that rubber O-ring have before it just doesn't, it breaks the seal, right? And guess what? It doesn't come with any extra rubber O-rings. 
So you're just SOL on that. So if you were thinking like I was, where you could just buy one, since these are $150, and then this stupid thing's 30 bucks, like, oh, I'll just buy one like I did the Navac, and I'll just, you know, screw it on the end. But guess what? That's not the way it works. You have to have it fully screwed on. And now I, I'm not going to be able to trust the seal if I'm swapping back and forth. Like, is my leak here now? Because I just changed it over to be able to put it on a 5 16 So when you buy one of these, you're going to have to decide whether or not this is going to be a dedicated quarter inch or dedicated 5 16 And then, oh, well, you know, you got to have two of them for quarter and you got to have at least two of them for 5 16 if not three of them, because VRF is 5 16 and there's, you know, two and three pipe systems so guess what 150 times three that's 450 dollars dude that's insane versus the appion which is totally doable smaller and you're like what 60 to 80 dollars depending on where you get that thing like i can buy two of these for the price of one of these mind you we've been needing this feature in the industry for years that it's such bull crap that I have to put my my micron gauge on here and now what? What am I gonna do? There's no way to stop pressure from hitting the micron gauge and possibly damaging it. Can't put refrigerant through there without, you know, something happening. Which whatever it's fine, but like, you know, you can only get one hose on, on a two pipe system, and then your micron gauge goes here. So this, in the sense of things, is awesome if you got enough room. And, you know, they don't show you the size of these in those videos that Field Piece is making and putting out and everything else like that. Like, I mean, even that piece, like, they couldn't have made it a little bit smaller, like Appion did. Like, look at that. That's, that's like another quarter inch, or that, that's almost a half an inch. Yeah, that's, that's about... Yeah, I mean, that's about a half an inch right there. Extra room. Like, what are you guys thinking? Some of these units... You literally have to prop up like this on the mini splits and stuff just to get enough room to be able to hook your thing up to it because it's freaking at an angle downwards like this. It does have a magnet on the end. But I mean, you guys have seen all the videos, you know you can get them with and without this, so you know whether or not you actually have the Schrader core on your removal tool. But, like, I don't care so much about this. Like, it is what it is. I've been doing it for years without a sight class. I'll continue dealing with that. But this is the function I wanted. I wanted to be able to shut this shit off so I can block anything get into my micron gauge that's the whole reason I got this and now I can't wait till my next compressor job or pump down or leak search or whatever where I get to use this thing to see how practical it actually is and I'll give you guys an update of that but like as it stands right now I'm super not impressed for this thing costing like almost the price of two of those like I it is yeah, that thing is fucking heavy too like it it weighs what these two do right now I mean within a few grams and that's with this missing yeah yeah, that's pretty close to what that weighs. I mean, and you put a couple of those in your tool bag, like, Jesus. You know, every screwdriver adds up. 
And then you got to have this too. So you can bounce back and forth. Like you're not going to do that. You're going to have to do just like Appion where you have a designated 5 16 and a designated quarter because you're not going to be able to trust that damn O-ring. So I'm pretty butthurt that I don't know that they don't give you extra O-rings so when you start second guessing this thing that you can replace it. You know, I'm going to have to order them now and get a baggie of them like Kind of disappointing but I mean you guys want to know the specs there they are uh, A2L rated all that other stupid shit down to 20 microns like it's a valve core removal tool but I wanted to make this video so you guys can see just the Megatron of size we got here like this is the guy that your wife tells you not to worry about at the gym that has like the big giant horse dong. This is you. After you get out of a warm shower. You know what I'm saying? Like like size matters, but not in the HVAC realm. Like it's it's this it's how you use the tool, not the size of it, right? But I mean, Look, that's a size 11 shoe. The freaking thing is like... <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it's tripping me out. I don't like the fact that that thing is so big. I don't like... The fact that... There's no way for me... To treat it like the Navac where this thing can screw on and off. I figured they'd just give us a really long tool and if you wanted to you could screw this on and it would feed all the way through like the Navac one but it's not if you guys want to see the Navac one I'll I'll grab it on the update after I use this a couple times and tell you guys what I you know think about it in the field and then I'll get the Navac one out here with the Appion the Navac and the field piece but dang dude this eight months for for this so disappointed, I just want to poop myself. <laughs>